Let's learn how to draw a wolf. We will start by finding some shapes within the wolf to help us draw the details later. We will start by finding some shapes within the wolf to help us draw the details later. Here are the shapes that I find within my wolf. I see a circle at the back of the body. I see a circle at the front of the body. I can see a circle for the head. I can see straight lines for the legs at the back and I can see a straight line for the foot and another one for the second foot. At the front legs I see two other straight lines. One for the paw, one for the leg and then another one for the leg and another one for the last paw. And finally I see a nice straight line for the tail. Now using these shapes we can draw in details. Let's find a space on our paper. Now let's start drawing the wolf. We'll use the shapes to help us and we'll use the picture as a reference. You can press a little harder if you want. Make sure you have your your eraser close by so you can also erase. So as I look at the wolf, I see he has a nice straight back. And because this is a howling wolf, we'll make sure that the neck goes upward like this one. And then we come down this way. Let's connect the bottom part. He has a bit of a tummy. He must have ate well. And here we connect the circle a little bit more to the leg. We can come down. This is the straight line that we were going to use to make the legs. So let's just go down. There we go. Now remember to break that up and around. That's part of the leg that goes into the body. And this is the second leg. You can put little claws on his paws if you want. Now let's go into this leg drawing on either side of the line. Wolves actually have larger paws in the front. If you notice, they... And then we'll go up. Now remember to make the next leg. You can use that line as a guide. It doesn't have to be exact. You can see that his claws kind of come out. They have very sharp claws. Now we'll make the snout which is facing upwards because this is a howling wolf. Bring that down. Don't forget his ears. They're facing downward. And now finally the tail. Now I can begin drawing in more details. Um, first I will erase some of the circles and shapes that I have drawn in lightly with my eraser. just to clean it up a bit. And this always helps.
when you clean it up a bit, you can see your wolf is starting to look more like a wolf. Take your time erasing. I'm going a little quicker than you probably would. You can always put this on pause or replay this video at any time. Now when I look at my wolf, I notice right away that his paws are too long, so I can fix that as I go along. This is just a draft. So now let's continue drawing and see what we can do to draw in the details. I'm going to start drawing some fur, and I'll fix up areas that I feel need to be fixed up. They actually have quite large tails, but not... I'll just erase that because I just find that his tail's a little bit too plump for my liking. And I'll go around here, make some more. I can fix anything up I want as I go along. As I, if I feel that it doesn't look quite right, I can add a little bit of plumpness to the leg. It looks a little bit skinny there. Remember, when you're drawing, it's okay to erase. Just don't feel like you have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect. This is art. Whatever you do, you can improve as you go along the more that you practice. Now, as I head towards the front of the wolf, I notice that he really has some deeper lines in there. So I'll keep going. I'm kind of going with the fur line. As you see on the picture, the fur kind of goes this way and that way. If you draw the fur the way it appears, it sometimes makes it look more real. This is by far not my most detailed photo or pictures when I draw. Um, I'm just teaching you how to do it. It probably would take me much longer. So I'm trying to go with the fur here. Now I'm taking a look at the back leg, continuing on with that. I find that this could be a little bit wider again. And this one. Sometimes you can make it work without erasing. Now I'm looking at these little paws and I'm noticing that they're just a little bit too long for my liking. So I'm just going to erase that to make them just slightly shorter. I do like putting in the claws. They do have quite long claws. Now here, 
I would like to make the fur look a little bit nicer in there. Now you can add as much fur as you want. As you go along, the more you add, the more detailed it'll look. Now, we're on the head. Here it looks a little more pointed. There we go. His eyes are closed because he's busy howl howling. And so you don't have to make open eyes. I th sometimes find drawing the eyes needs a lot of practice to get them right. Now we'll just make a nice little dark nose. Now see how the, the fur goes here? It can be it can look more real realistic if you make the fur go the way it's shown in the reference photo. It takes practice. Just do your best. This is your first try. As you can see, I can probably do a much better job too. Now, I'm going to bring his mouth down. I actually would like to erase this part here because I want it to look like it's open a little bit. So, just like the wolf in the picture. So if I go like that, and I come down, that looks a bit better. And then I'll just erase a bit on the outside. Remember that these wolves have nice sharp teeth, so you can put a couple there, not too many, he's not a werewolf. Um, and I'm taking a closer look again. I'm thinking that this part of the neck is just a little bit too wide, so I'm just going to go like that quickly. Very quickly. And I think I'm almost done. His rump here looks a little bit bigger. So I'll just go over there. No problem erasing. You can erase any time you want as this is all just a practice shot. And it's actually quite fun. Just love drawing. Okay, so yes, erase those other lines and come in like this. That looks better. He's quite a cute little wolf. Can make this a little bit darker in there. Don't forget. whisker marks and you can add they don't I don't think they have large whiskers but you can add some whiskers and there you have it there's the wonderful wolf the drawing of the day hope you liked it bye